my high tech, baby. Oh, look at me, vlogging in public. I'm here on another bikepacking trip, and today we're starting in Milton. And another adventure begins. This time, we're on a coastal trip. It's pretty common for me to plan all my rides up around the mountains, but I've wanted to try something different. So on this trip, We'll be doing a coastal loop, but I've also incorporated a mountain to summit just to keep it interesting. Beautiful around here. Very nice. Green. So I've planned this route, which is a bit urban, a bit country, a bit coastal, a bit of everything. But I didn't plan for this footpath, so I'm pretty stoked early on. Bit of a landslip. Molly Mook or Narrawally. Oh, we're graveling. <laughs> it can be pretty time consuming planning a good route, but I often forget that just hopping on a bike with mates, you can have a great time. So why not turn that concept into an overnighter and you're guaranteed to have a great adventure. Should we go to Bannisters for a cocktail? As much as I enjoyed cruising the streets, I think the more interesting parts of this video are later on. So I've got the high tempo music playing and let's smash through these towns and get to the good stuff. My high tech baby. We should go into the co op and get some fresh seafood, a bit of octopus. Calamari. Looks like a cool old trawler of some sort. The hills of Oladulla. <laughs> I'm hoping these are the steepest of the trip and we can get them out of the road early. Oh, I need to put a bit of TLC into this thing. <laughs> this looks like a million bikes. I'm gonna go have a look. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. That bloke had a few bikes. <laughs> Couple of hundred by the look of it. I know it's a bit early in the trip, but when you see something interesting, there's no harm in stopping to have a look. Food truck even. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one beer's turned into two, and now we're having some lunch as well. So. It's a holiday. Yeah. This is a party bike packing trip. <laughs> we deserve it. Nothing but good times. Hey, go on, fellas. See you later. Hey. <laughs> Too many beers. And we're off. I'm drunk. <laughs> Single trail for about 100 meters. Whoa! Not a bad view. <laughs> After those few beers, I think we need a nap. Looks, looks like a pretty nice spot too. Pretty hot. Right, right, Looks like a nice spot to go for a swim. Yeah. It's hot! And what a spot! We've done 20 Ks. Don't feel like it, eh? I'll put a map up on the screen of the loop that we plan on doing. And today, we plan on making our way down to Maru Head, where we're going to camp the night. This section between Burrow Lake and Lake Tabari, there's a bit of single trail that follows the highway. It's pretty nice and smooth to ride on. It gets pretty close to the cars, but you're off the side of the highway, which is very nice. That looks nasty. All right, we're out of the suburbs and into the bush. The muddy bit, which I do remember, but I remember going around it, which maybe this is the round bit. Well, I am a bit of a broken man at the moment. We're here at 
Turmoil Lake and on Google Maps this had like an entrance out into the ocean so I bought with me a little blow up boat and I thought it would be super adventurous and load the bikes in the boat and drag it across the water but the lake's blocked off at the moment and it's all sand spewing <laughs> that was going to be like the hit of this video the boat maybe we can find some water later or tomorrow oh well Well, there's the lake, probably a little bit better view from here, and as you can see, all that sand. That was not part of my plan! I've carried this little blow-up boat, which is only small, but it's still kind of heavy and annoying to carry on a bikepacking trip, so... I'm very tempted to blow it up anyway, just for the sake of it. But that's kind of a waste of time. Anyway, we might go for another swim because it's stinking off. Probably not great for the bikes, but that's why you ride old retro 90s bikes because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, there is our little path. And let's go! <laughs> Whoa! She's soft! Well, here we are at Maru Head Campground. It's a little bushier than I thought. It's a nice little spot but I was kind of hoping for a bit more coastal views. When I planned this trip I was envisioning like setting up on the beach like really cool coastal campgrounds um, but I thought with all the national parks around I'll book one of these sites so that's where we're staying and it's nice but I don't know I'm kind of a little bit disappointed we're not camping on the beach. It's um, I think it'd be really cool, but we're here now and there's some cool caves to explore so we're just having a bit of a wander around. Maybe next time we'll have to drive a little bit further south past all the, the national parks and find somewhere a bit more remote to camp on the beach, so next time. All right, I'm here at the lookout and it's pretty windy. It's a nice spot though. And you can see Pigeon House Mountain out in the distance, which is where we're gonna summit tomorrow. So looking forward to that.
On the uh, small when it's by. Small. Yeah. The last few times I've been, I haven't, I've struggled to finish the, the double, the largest. Yeah. So I thought I'd give smalls a go. What do you think of my little lantern light? It's like a little candle. I think it's nice light. Anyway. We've had some dinner, it's been a big day, so going to bed now, probably gonna try and get up nice and early and hopefully there's some nice colors over the ocean in the morning. And yeah, see you then. Good night. Nice morning. I'm thinking I probably should have bought my breakfast stuff down to the water. So I'm gonna go get it. Wake Josh up as well. How nice would it be to have your tent on the beach and you just unzip it, lay in bed just looking out at the ocean. Blueberries. Mashed blueberries even. Just decided to talk into the camera and the cicadas start. Anyway, we'll try. Um, we're about to head off, we're all packed up, but I just thought I'd show you guys the bike I'm riding. This is a, another old 90s frame that I've got. It's um, I don't know, about 95 or something like that. And I'm giving it a try because I'm using these um, forks that I modified in another video so I can fit bigger wheels on. And I'm also trying this trip on these uh, surly corny, corner bar copies, so. Yesterday it went pretty good. We'll see how it goes over the next two days. Anyway, let's get out of here. So the plan today is to head back to the beach on the southern side. I think it's Maru Beach. And we're going to continue down the coast until we get to Borley Point. And then we're going to head inland because there's a service station where we can top up with some water and maybe get a coffee or something like that. So. That's the plan! Uh. Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Oh no! All my drivetrain and everything. Whoops. <laughs> so just a quick recap. The big wave came as I was getting the GoPro off. 
I stumbled, huge wave came, jumped off the bike to get out of the way and tripped over and dropped my bike and then the wave crashed up on my bike while it was on the ground. Not good. But I suppose that's what you get for being idiots like this. <laughs> Wouldn't be a trip with me without a bush crash, wouldn't it? Pretty nice through here. What's that? Fuck, I knew we should have camped here. What is that? We have a seal down here. I thought it was dead, but it looks like it's, I don't know, it's floating on its back, possibly fishing in shallow areas. I don't know what it's doing, but it does put its head up every now and again, so pretty sure it's alive. Anyway, we'll continue on because that mountain out in the background, it's waiting for us. There's a rope swing up here on the right. <laughs> oh, what a shit rope swing. Once we made it to Borley Point, the only route that I could find went straight down the main road. It was about seven kilometers long and reasonably flat. It didn't take us long to get to the service station, which was also a bottle shop and a cafe. Well, we've just stopped at the Tamil service station, which has got a bottle shop. So we picked up a couple of beers for tonight and toasted sandwich for lunch. These open gravel roads were a great way to chew up some of the kilometres. It was mostly nice riding, but there was the occasional killer hill. Oh, it's like a long climb. Road closed. I hope that doesn't come back to bite us in the eye. There it is. We're definitely closer than we are this morning, but still got a bit of a ride around. And it's stinking hot. Oh, this looks like an awesome swimming hole. So the route that I'd planned had to go down the highway, but we decided to change it up a little bit so we didn't have to go down the highway. And we're kind of just winging it and we've stumbled across the Clyde River and it's stinking hot so this is a bloody awesome refreshing point pretty chuffed so good <laughs> pretty chilly well as much as I'd like to stay here all afternoon we've got a mountain to summit We've got to get there first. Slight descent. The best. 
Squeaky pedals. These last few k's into the picnic area at Pigeon House. So steep up and down. I'm sweating so bad. It's brutal. It turned into an absolute supper fest. Which, when we're sitting at home on Monday, we're gonna love. But not so much right now. Fuck. <laughs> it's getting steeper. Oh, it is. This is a fucked up bit of bit. Cameras don't show how steep it is, but she's pretty steep. And I'm hurting. We haven't even started the hike yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've had a little breather. We're at the car park. We're cooked, but now we've got about a two and a half kilometer climb to the summit. We're just hitting the bikes in the bushes. There's a couple of cars here. Hopefully no one pinches our stuff because that'll suck. Anyway, you ready? I guess that's a yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm not. Oh. Let's go. No more filming to the top. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> There's Josh. <laughs> All right, let the hike begin. It is 5:41 p.m. I'm not going to be able to show you the view through the trees, it's just too hard, but you can see it looks awesome already. There's actually some like soft wispy clouds, we might get a bit of colour in the sky. I'll be frothing. I did froth at the mouth then. <laughs> Massive bubble came out. The show's yours, mate. Oh, we're nearly at the, the plateau. Here we go. We're nearly at base camp. Oh, still got a bit to go. Is this high enough? This is good enough, isn't it? There she is. That sun's getting pretty low. Just got to keep pushing. hate to miss the sunset. <laughs> well, we're both really fatigued at the moment. Not sure this is the smartest idea, but we're nearly there. Well, I'm really struggling. So the whole idea of coming up to the summit was to have a beer and watch the sunset. And we end up getting these Brule brew house hazy IPAs and they've got a bike on it. Time to crack it. Well deserved. Oh my god, that's amazing. Is it good? Oh, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, what a 
mission today has been. How tasty is that? Good. Well, that ride and walk was a proper slog, but being up here now to watch the sunset, it's all worth it. So nice. So cheers, guys. I'm pretty happy right now. I was ready to pull out. I'd love it too if these clouds lit up nice and red when it drops a bit lower. And if you look over in the distance, you've got the ocean, which is where we came from. I have no idea where, but somewhere out there. Awesome. Not that fucked. Um. You want a lighter? Oh, so it's a bit too windy up the top, so... We've moved down in between the rocks here for dinner. And it's a bit warmer as well, so I'm happy with that. Tonight, we're having, well I'm having, oh, that's a spider. Get off there. Beef and pasta hot pot. And I'm very hungry, can't wait. Could drink it out of this though. It's not very bright, yeah. and when he's filming, people are getting to wear it because yeah, it's yeah. like it looks like they're wearing a headlamp, yeah. but it's not like blinding yeah. the camera. Or anything. It's hot. Fresh beer to open. Mm. Cracker of a can. So we've made it back to the picnic area where our bikes were and it's about 10.30 now we're pretty cooked so instead of riding to Yadborough Flat or Blue Gum Campground we've decided to just camp in a picnic area the only drama was we don't have a lot of water left over and we're going to fill up in the creeks down at those campgrounds but just by sheer luck we've come here and there's a rain tank and a tap so we've just um, collected some water and boiled it up and now it's bedtime we're stuffed so good night well I think it's time I wrap up this video we've still got a about a 35 or 30 K ride today back to Milton um, but just not really feeling like playing with the camera too much but before I go Josh has been playing with a Polaroid um, camera he bought along he's I don't know, been inspired by me playing with cameras, I think, and the Polaroid's pretty cool, so I'm just gonna have a quick look back through his photos that he's taken this weekend, and yeah, that's about it. The rain potentially might come too. We've had a few spits, and it's pretty grey out there, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Just when we're about to leave, it starts raining. This is the end of a trip right now, oh, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh. So good to be off that bike.